Hello and welcome to another great deck tech here at Chuckwagon MTG. Before we get started, I just want to remind you of ways that you can help Chuckwagon MTG help bring you great content week to week. Uh, first is you can go to Patreon and uh, contribute directly to the effort. We appreciate it. There's different tiers and the tiers in his Patreon are uh, quite equitable, meaning you, you get a, almost everything that you put into it. So it's a, he makes it really fun uh, for each tier. The other way you can contribute, uh, if you look go down into the description, there's a link for uh, Chuck Wagon's MTG stand where you can buy cards directly from Chuck. Now this, uh, these, this is from his personal collection, uh, but you can uh, help uh, Chuck bring you great content every week um, by purchasing the cards you need from Chuck, from his stand. But check out that link, check out the Patreon. But now without any further ado, let's jump into this. Today, we are talking about a deck that I like to call Crackhead. Now... I know what you're thinking. Uh, it's not. It's not about uh, uh, that type of crackhead. This is a different kind of crackhead. Um, this deck is a really fun uh, blue-green deck that I've been playing with for a little while. You know, when the set came out, uh, there's all these all these new cards, and I played with a lot of them. And uh, we 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 at Chuckwagon MTG try not to fall into the uh, the the kind of the expected deck that you would see. Uh, but with this new set, it's kind of hard because a lot of the cards lead you in that direction. So uh, with this deck, I think we struck um, a nice medium ground of, of ramp and a good win condition, but also a lot of fun in the early game. So let me walk you through it. Let me walk you through Crackhead. So... The early game, the, the center of the deck rotates around this card called Protean Thaumaturge. From this point on, I'll call this one the Turge. So if you read what the Turge says, so for one and a blue, it's a human wizard. And whenever, you, whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have uh, the Turge become a copy of another target creature except it has this ability that's any creature on the battlefield so what i love what i have been enjoying doing with this one is using uh auras on my opponent's creatures uh to re reduce them in stature while stealing that creature type so some of those enchantments that we're using of course frogify uh, enchant the you enchant a creature and then it loses all abilities and becomes a one one frog um, so when that happens with your Turge on the battlefield, your Turge becomes whatever creature, no matter what it is. Uh, so you steal their ability and then fire it right back at them. We also have Kazmina's Transmutation. Again, uh, the creature loses all abilities and becomes a 1-1, one -one, while your Turge turns into whatever that is. Um, so that's the the beginning uh, of the uh, of the deck. Now... You're trying to ramp up in this deck to get to uh, kind of the 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 big win condition or the fun win condition. And uh, some of the things that we have uh, that can do that, uh, of, course, of course, Growth Spiral. Uh, you draw a card and then you can put another land card on the battlefield. Uh, you have Omen of the Hunt, uh, which uh, is an enchantment for two and a green. Uh, it can be flashed in. And keep in mind, uh, this is also an enchantment which will trigger the Turge, okay? So say they play a creature on their turn that you like and your prote Protean Thaumaturge is on the battlefield, you flash in Omen of the Hunt, not only do you get to search your library for a land card, put it on the battlefield and ramp yourself, you get to turn your Turge into whatever that creature is. Okay, you have uh, Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath. Of course, it, this is the... Uh, the best ramp card ever. It also gains you three life and draws you a card. I can't, it's a it's a nice it's a nice to have. 
uh, you have it on the battlefield, like say you're not getting to your wing condition, your big wing condition, you can always throw this out there uh, to block or to uh, uh, swing in. Every time it swings in, you get that life gain as well. This deck, uh, you're not usually going to win with this deck with 20 life. You're going to get beat down, you know, a little bit. You can get beat down a little bit uh, before you can actually um, come back because you need a lot of lands. Uh, but that's why the Turge and all the ramp and the Frogify and the Kazmina's Transmutation will help. It'll slow down that, that death spiral uh, while uh, projecting a little power on the battlefield. <clears throat> so uh, another one of the uh, enchantments we have that can trigger the Turge but also gives you some scrying is Omen of the Sea, probably one of the best enchantments uh, in the set. Uh, it's, it, it too has flash, so you can do that on your opponent's turn. Um, but enough of that. So you've you've put your Turge on the battlefield, you're frogifying things, you're, you're flashing in your Omen of the Sea and your Omen of the Hunt, you're ramping, you're uroing, and you get to, you have all these lands out there. Now, how are you going to close out the game? And there's a reason why this is called Crackhead. So Crackhead, of course, my favorite card of the whole set. Uh, Kiora, best the sea god. Uh, for, for seven CMC, that's five and two blue. Uh, it's a saga enchantment. Uh, as soon as it hits the battlefield, you create an 8-8 blue Kraken uh, creature token with Hexproof. Formidable all on its own. And then uh, on your next turn, uh, you tap all non-land permanents, target opponent controls, and they don't untap during their opponent's step. So this by itself is a force to be reckoned with. If they don't get it off the battlefield fast enough, uh, this could end the game. And of course, the third part of the saga, gain control of target permanent and opponent controls, untap it. Which is fine. That's fine. Uh, you want to... Um, if you have to go that route to gain control, but we're going to do something a little funny with our Cure Best the Sea God. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to bounce it with Teferi's Time Twist. Um, so keep in mind, if you have a, you, you throw out your Cure Best the Sea God, your Turge is on the battlefield with your 8-8 Hexproof Kraken. You bounce your Cure Best the Sea God. When that enchantment comes back to the battlefield, you can turn your Turge into an 8-8 Kraken with Hexproof. 16 power on the battlefield. Exciting. I know, it's exciting, right? But, say you just have your your uh, Kraken out there. We're going to use Repudiate and Replicate to create a token copy of that creature. So, we're trying to go full Crackhead with this deck. We're trying to get a bunch of Krakens out on the battlefield. Uh, we're trying to replicate them, copy them, trying to copy your opponent's creatures and throw them right back in their face. So that is Crackhead. Uh, let's take a look at the sideboard. For those of you not doing that, I recommend this for best of one, by the way, because uh, as as fun as this one is, it it doesn't have, um, it has an unexpected progression of the game. Like they don't see the Turge as a scary thing. But if you want to play best of three, let me know how, you know, let me know how it turns out for you. Uh, so here's some sideboard suggestions, you know, craft these to your uh, your the meta at you know that you're playing with if you're doing best of three uh so shadow spear fantastic equipment probably the one of the best equipments ever so say your opponent's playing some uh hex proof creatures well if you want to copy them first you're going to have to remove uh the hex proof so you can do that with shadow spear of course um enhanced surveillance so uh, I put enhanced surveillance. We don't have anything that surveils, nothing that surveils, but you can exile it and shuffle your graveyard into the library. There's a lot of mill strategies out there, and you want to maintain the Turge trigger, but you can use your, your enhanced surveillance to also uh, prevent the full mill. Of course, to negate, uh, and then four return to nature because, um, <clears throat> yeah, we're, we're in an enchantment heavy meta. Y you need it. And also the uh, the other two, Destroy Target Artifact, um, you know, there's Bullis Citadel, uh, there's the, the Great Henge, there's things that you can take off the battlefield that are doing you great harm. 
and then uh, exile target card from a graveyard. You can get that Uro out of their graveyard so they can't cast it again. Uh, no escape, counter target spell. This is again for for the, uh, I guess the Titans or, you know, <laughs> those the, the Uros of the deck or the uh, other such uh, creatures that you want to just exile, get them off the battlefield. And then Ashiok's Erasure. This is also uh, an enchantment which will trigger your your uh, your um, your turge, uh, but it has flash. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you exile target spell. It's a spell on the stack, and then they can't cast it anymore. Um, yeah, fantastic counter spell. You can shut down a, a complete strategy, um, especially in best of three. You see what they're going to throw out, and you kind of set yourself up for that turn four Ashiok's Erasure. But that's the deck. Let's jump into some games and see if we can get this to do what it's supposed to do. Let's play some Crackhead. Nello? Nalao? Best of luck. This is decent. I can work with this. Can the scry? Nope. Gotta get them lands. Thought erasure? No. Oh, rats. God bless you. I love me some rats. And I think I need to... I think I'm going to Omen of the Sea next. Kind of set up my next turn. I think that's more... I think I'll ditch a what to ditch, what to ditch. Mm. I need my, I'll ditch one Frogify there. We got more Kazmina's transmutations and all that stuff. Um. Hmm. We have to stop the, okay, stop this bad dog from, that's what I like to see, some crazy growth. Because, you know, copying a rat, yeah, copying a rat doesn't really get us there. So let's put you out there, see what's coming up next. <clears throat> Two, four, six, that's our seventh land. Now I think, I think we need to hold and then we'll omen of the hunt on the net you know that build up that land base maybe we get the kraken out there early who knows They hit. Oh, they hit one. Okay. All right. Let's dig. Um. Yeah, I think I need you. So I think I'm gonna frogify you, keep him from 
I'm going to. Jeez. Start digging. Okay. There's one. So we're going to take at least five damage this turn, but we will come back. He's going to bounce his Piper with Thassa, which is awesome. But hopefully... Oh. I think I'm gonna bounce. I'm gonna get rid of the transmutation, cast this bad boy out there, get my and it, well, hopefully they don't have any uh, um, sacrifice removal, which would stink right now. Then our next turn we can. Attack in for eight. Bounce. Cure best of sea god. Get a second one out there. Hmm. I'm not going to block. Because I think they have tricks. One of those death touchy type tricks. Bounce your Piper. You can bounce your Piper. Oh, he's trying to empty my hand. Tap it down. Gonna bounce you. I'm going to hold. He's gonna make me discard it. So we have lethal. Yep. I I never use the wish claw talisman. I never give it back to them. Ever. Okay. It's going to double. But it our QR best to see guy is going to tap down all their non land permanents at the end of this anyway. In for the win. That's how you go crackhead on someone. <laughs> All right, playing some crackhead. Good luck, Snowman 14. This is a great beginning. I love this hand. Okay, so we're going to keep, of course, we'll Temple of Mystery first. Yes, I want to ramp. 
So let's see what our opponent's in. They are playing some, oh, they're in Simic as well. So we will go ahead and Turge now. You know what's great is if they cast a one of those big creatures that sacrifices themselves, you can still flash in Omen of the Sea and copy it. Not bad. I'm going to hold off on the Omen of the Sea for now. <clears throat> let's, let's go ahead and replicate our Turge. I want to see what they're throwing down. I, I want to, I want, I, you know, it takes a while to get to Kior Best the Sea God, so you want to kind of widen the board a little bit. You expect them to have a lot of removal. Okay. Okay, so let's see what they put out there. Hopefully they, they can pull something that will be scary. Oh, that's beautiful. I like it. Draw all you want. Because they have one. But I'm going to have two. Okay, let's put you up there. Let's see, we have four, five, six. I'm going to pay two life and get our Cure Best of Sea Guide out there. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess you. And you. Decline. Decline. I'm going to swing both. They block one. That's fine. We have copy. Let's scry. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. We want a Kazmina's transmutation, whatever. But you see how fast we ramped and uh, the reaction to it. Now, they could, you know, there's a, a lot of things they can do. Return this to our hands, which would, you know, basically turn it into nothing. But let's see where they go. Oh. <clears throat> Okay, so they're drawing, 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 drawing. They're going to bounce it again. But what we're going to do on our next turn is turn our... We're going to turn their Cavalier into a 1-1. One, one, and then that'll trigger our Protean Thermiturge. And 
we'll change it into this eight, another 88 eight Kraken. Double crack it. Almost the death now. Now, what what would really be great right now is a uh, the our little Teferi spell, so we can bounce our cure best of sea god, but. Okay, yes. Yes, we like that. Yes. Um, let's get another land out there. Ramp, 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 ramp. We haven't seen Uro yet, so maybe we'll get there. So let's get you out there. Kraken. Give him something to deal with. They can keep flood of tears, flood of tearing us, flood of tearing us, flood, flood of tearsing us, flood of tearsing us. We don't care. And that's that. So that's basically how the deck works. Um, <laughs> but thank you for watching. Uh, hope you like what you saw. I love this deck. Uh, hope you play some crackhead. <laughs> or I hope uh, your opponent plays you as the crackhead. And uh, hope it plays well for you. But let us know how it plays for you. Any suggestions you have for the deck. Uh, these are weird decks. Um, there's always improvements to be made. Uh, especially in the sideboard. But uh, like I said, if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe, hit the like, uh, check out the Patreon and Chuck Wagon's MTG stand. Go down to that description, click those links, check out his, his, his uh, library of cards, buy from him. It will so directly support the channel. But thank you. If you like this, please share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, your pets, because everyone can use a little more magic in their lives. Thanks for hanging out with me.